Today is pepper steak day. This is a recipe. It's real simple, real fast. So let me show you what you need, and I guarantee you it's going to taste better than the restaurant. Get about a cup, cup and a half of water. Mix with a little bit of cornstarch, probably about a tablespoon. Add some soy in there. Give it a mix. That's going to be for the gravy. Of course, you're going to need soy sauce, and I use this sweet soy glaze. You're going to need some beef found some cheap stuff at the store because you're gonna cut it up so small it doesn't matter what kind of cut of beef you have it just depends how tender you want to go get you an onion a couple of bell peppers that's all you need but I'm dressing mine up today I'm putting some mushrooms in it and some snow peas that's just for looks and flavor they taste pretty good now this is real important you need to preheat your wok this one's going, probably takes about 10-15 minutes. You want that sucker hot. Cut up your onion. If you have small mushrooms, you don't need to cut them. And you actually only need to use two or three. But I really like mushrooms, so I'm putting in a lot. That's the whole difference with the restaurant. They're going to give you the bare minimum. And you know, when you want an extra mushroom, and there's no mushroom, kind of pisses you off. Now I could use all this meat, but I'm not going to because it is actually a lot. So I'm going to save this half for tomorrow. And we're going to use that for beef and broccoli. And the recipe for the beef and broccoli is exactly what I'm doing today. Now cut the meat across the grain as best you can and cut it at an angle. That's a pretty important step. Take all that meat, put it in a bowl, add some sweet soy glaze, Soy sauce. Get your hand in there and mix it up. Okay, my wok is starting to smoke. Now at this point, I could go all cardio diet right there with bacon grease. But I'm going to use some olive oil today. Now I've got to turn this fan on. And you add your meat. It's been on there maybe a minute and a half. You see all that juice that ran to the bottom? We're going to leave that down there and take out the meat. Now I am on super high heat. I'm going to add these vegetables and stir fry them. Hog zone fajita seasoning right there. Always needs a little touch of that. But you don't have to use it. It's not really necessary, but it does taste good. It does add a little sauce to salt. I'm going to go ahead and give these a shot of sweet soy glaze. Jar is empty. That goes in the trash. Shot of soy. Now at this point, you can see the onions have just finished kind of breaking apart. There's no big giant. Here's one right here that's stuck together. When those are all broke apart, as you can tell, dump the meat back in. Drain the juice back in there. Keep mixing. Time to add the gravy mix. Now, depending on how much gravy you want, uh, add a little more water if you need it. Now, it's been in there about 30 seconds. What I'm going to do is look at the gravy. And it's starting to bubble. It's starting to thicken with the cornstarch. And if 
you want more gravy than that, that's where you would add a little more water. You're pretty much done right there. That's it. It's about a four minute cook. Go ahead and turn off your uh, heat. Give it one more stir and put it in a bowl. You're ready to eat. Now, I didn't make any rice today just because I'm lazy, but that's your pepper steak. Y'all, if you're on Facebook and you see my page, The Hog Zone, or, you know, my personal page or whatever, you know why I cook so much of this pepper steak and take so many pictures of it. It's because it's fast, easy, and it's damn good. Anyway, y'all, that's how you make pepper steak. Quick, easy, fast, and it's better than the restaurants. No lie. And you, heck, you can even use chicken or pork.